Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Got another episode of the Chuck Norris career mode for you. So, in case you haven't been keeping up with the episodes or the series, um, we won back our middleweight title in the previous episode, and we actually moved down to welterweight. So, we've actually won titles in the UFC for both the middleweight and light heavyweight division. And now that we are in the welterweight division, that keep that actually puts us in a really good spot to win our third division title so i'm hoping that I can actually get it done in this episode we're set to fight um stephen thompson who i think he's like number two or number three in the welterweight division let's see george st pierre is the champion ah okay yeah so he's right below me i, I imagine if i beat stephen thompson i'll be in a good spot to fight george st pierre so let's just uh let's just jump right into it. Let's do this. And here we Alrighty, go. let's do so this. How do you see this playing out for Cowboy? <clears throat> Much has been talked about in regards to Ooh. him abandoning his middleweight title to start his career at 170. Yeah, he felt that there was no one left for him to fight at 185, and I agree. But this welterweight division is stacked with talent. He'll find the competition that he's craving here. Mike Goldberg and Joe Rogan oh, hook there. talking about my decision to move down to the welterweight division. Nice outside leg kick. Got the double underhooks. Oh boy. Ah, oh, uh, freaking mistake. Oh shoot, uh, maybe not. Didn't work that time. When did Steven Thompson get some jujitsu, man? Reversal. Stand up, Steven. Stand up. And he lets him back up. Should do a title mode with Steven Thompson, man. Just because he's so fast. He trips. Boom. Got him to the ground. Stand up. Nicely done. Damn you, Steven. He decides to let him up. He's getting too comfortable. Down in. Short, short. Nice. Oh, big kick. Yeah, I have fancy kicks too, Steven. You're not the only karate guy here. That could have been bad. No. Two minutes remains in round number one. Actually, just stand up. Or not. Into the guard. I don't know why Steven's trying to take me down so oh, much, man. Up. He caught the leg. He's down. Is he gonna kick? Under 90 yeah. seconds remains in round one. I can't believe he got back to his feet, but he has hurt badly. And good Ooh. right hand counter. Just over a minute remains. Underestimate the range, man. Back and forth. What an exchange here. Forty five seconds remains. Oh, he's working my body. Spinning back kick. Outside leg kick. Yeah. Totally unrelated, but I think I sh I should do a uh, title mode with Steven Thompson in the future, man. He's got all those kicks, and he's fast as hell. That'd be pretty fine, I think. Is cut, Mike. Our first round is in the books. Both fighters seem content to Not bad. Fight on the feet that round. Mostly a striking yeah, match. Very effective, Mike. Sometimes <clears throat> you need to mix in at least a threat of a takedown to open up your stand-up game. I mean, we both landed pretty good strikes. He's running backwards, so you're gonna have to keep. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. Here we see the beautiful kick defense. Caught it coming in and landed the perfect counter punch. Anytime I try to catch a kick, if I counter with a, with a punch, I always try to throw the head kick afterwards. Nine times out of ten, it will land. And when it lands, it usually rocks them. You're looking to catch his kicks more often, if I can. Oh my goodness! Oh, that one staggered oh, no. him. The clinch game once again. He got blasted, but it oh, looks no. like he snapped back pretty quickly. Oh, oh and he takes me down. That's just insult to injury. Oh, and this fight's only three rounds. I forgot about that. <clears throat> so I can't actually stay on bottom that long. Steven Thompson, were you trying to put me in a guillotine? And back 
to full guard. What you know about guillotines, Stephen Thompson? He's got over under here from the back. He's got, got both hooks, hooks in. in. Joe, he's, he's going do I dare? Naked. He's working the choke. I don't, I don't do think I dare? Mark. It's not under the chin. Good submission. He's pretty hard defense. to submit. Trying to finish this fight by rear naked choke. Uh, no. Damn it. He escapes. I shouldn't have tried. Into his guard. Reverse. Nice right hand. Yeah, let me up. Let me up, Steven. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're oh come here. on, Steven. Why are you clenching so much? Everyone wants to slow dance with me, man. It's annoying. This is tremendous takedown defense, Joe. Very nicely. Oh, <gasps> one dropped him. No, Steven. No! Like oh my god, I thought they were going to stop it. Oh no, this is terrible. 90 seconds remains in the second. Oh, this is so bad. This is like worst case scenario. Oh, thank god. Jesus. That was freaking... That was pretty dicey, man. Alright. It's a take no more messing around. A little bit of leverage, Joe. God and damn it. Ends up on the ground again. He's in the guard. God damn it, Steven. 30 seconds remains in the round. I guess he lets him up. I'm finding out why you're number three guy in the division. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Double under hooks. Oh my god. You're a striker, man. You're a karate guy. Why are you clinching up with me so much? I like how they took that fight in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by Stop getting rocked with headshots. What I don't want to get rocked, coach. Right? You feel most of that guard. Bring out that combat knee. Get yourself. Okay? It's not like I'm standing there with my block down telling them Let's to hit me in the head. Some of the action here, Mike. This is a pretty vicious counter, perfectly timed. And this is that punishing shot. Pinpoint accuracy there. <sighs> yeah, yeah loss would set me back pretty far. Loading up. He's trying to take Ready to start. Haven't lost three. in a There's while. The beautiful Brittany. Gentlemen, you ready? Ready? I gotta find a way to, Here we go. Round three. to uh, rock. God damn it, Steven. Why are you fighting this way, man? God, why? Why, Steven? Why? He's in the full mount. No. No. Come on. Come on, man. He ate that one. Oh, come on. He knows I need a finish. Oh, he's hurt. God damn it. But he got rocked, but man, he snapped back quick. I'm to do damage. And the chanting switches to Carlos Condon. Oh my god. Come on. Yep. That's a big shot. Oh, he got hurt badly, Mike. This may be it. He's trying to finish. Oh, God damn it. Down he goes. Somehow he's able to get up. Oh, but he ate a left hand. Get off of me, Steven. Come on. Using the cage to help him. Should be this. You're sh you should be ashamed of yourself, Steven, for fighting this way. Honestly. Where is the 57 and 0 kickboxer, huh? Where is that guy? Because he's not here today. Full guard here. Under two minutes remains. Third and final round. Yeah. God damn it, Steven. I'll finish you with ground and pound if I must. I don't care. Let's see what he's looking for. No. 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 I don't think it's quite time Definitely enough. not. Wow, great oh, job done defensively. Passes a half guard. Under a minute moves into full mount. God, I need to finish him. And he lets him back up. God he damn it, Steven. Relentless takedowns here. 45 seconds remains. Pushing he's tired. He decides to let him up. Left hook, he's down. Uh. Oh. 
He's gonna finish the fight right Come here. Come on. This fight. Oh, he recovers. Condit's pace is oh, there. Spinning heel kick. Fight is oh. That is all it took. My God. Hey, I had to do it to you, Steven. I had to do it to you. Did not expect you to fight that way, man. And here we see it. Just look at the timing. With like less than 20 seconds left, man. Finish. Doesn't get any better than that. That is what you call a knockout. And here we see it again. To be fair, it, it never feels good watching Steven Thompson get knocked out. Here we see it again. Excellent oh my god, look button. how bad his face was. Ugh. Sorry, Steven. And with our official Sorry. decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and Whew. Yeah, I, I mean, I had no idea who was gonna win the first round. I was winning this round big, but I think at best it, it was probably just gonna be a draw. And I can't afford a draw. I just want to win, you know? Whew. Man. I haven't been hurt that many times since... Probably since I fought Anderson Silva, man. Ah, Demetrius Johnson. Really? Okay. Well, you know, Demetrius did retire. And he, he really is the, the best in the world, man. Alright. Where am I? Number six, really? Hey, we got five of the year though. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't get any other rewards. That's fine, I guess. Alrighty, let me see. Yeah, George St. Pierre, buddy. Alright, this is the moment I've been waiting for. This is the this was the main goal to get to this point. All right, let's fight for the welterweight title. Let's go. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide. Now available at tapout.com. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen. This is the main event of the evening. And now, live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a striker. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Dallas, Texas. This man is a former welterweight champion of five. He is the former UFC light heavyweight and middleweight champion. Presenting the legendary UFC Hall of Fame Octagon Warrior, Cowboy! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, George Rush St. B. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. All right, guys, this is for the UFC Championship. I want a nice, clean fight. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Come on out fighting. Back to your plan. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we're ready to get things started. Are you ready? 
Cowboy, George St. Pierre. And here we Alrighty, go. Man. Joe, give us your thoughts on the challenger. He was once a top contender at 185 and now finds himself challenging for a title at 170. He should have better luck in his weight class, Mike. I think there's a strong chance that he could walk out of here a champion. I thought they were going to mention the fact that uh, I was a champion in two other divisions, but I mean, it is what it is. Man, I thought all the other ones wanted to wrestle with me a lot. Let's we'll see how much George does. Can I defend it? Nope. Nice job, double leg. Damn it. Body shot. Ah, I couldn't get the reversal. At least I have five rounds to work. Let's see. You gonna shoot? No. George is smart. Okay. Uh look for the there it is. Anytime he throws that lead Superman, I gotta throw the or yeah, I gotta check it. He's got his back here. It's fine. Can I take him down? Nah, that's fine. I won't try to force it. Oh. Okay. No, Chuck. Why would you go for a guillotine? Told you the knee. It's actually kind of close. No way. Am I actually gonna get this? No way. We have a new UFC welterweight champion. Did I really just pull that off? No see, way. As soon as he goes to full guard, perfect technique here. Pulling down with the legs and up with the arms, squeezing that neck, cutting off the blood to the brain. Look at it from this angle. I swear, I was trying to throw a knee. Hold on. Look at this. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 51 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke. And now, the new UFC welterweight champion of the world. Cowboy captures the UFC championship. Dude, I thought this was going to be a really long, drawn out war. But oh my god. I, I swear, I. In that position where I sprawled and we were like both kind of still up, I was trying to throw a knee. I, like I was, I was spamming this button here, but he wasn't throwing a knee, so it like it forced me into a guillotine for some reason. But I didn't think I would actually finish it. That's crazy. Stephen Thompson gave me more trouble than George Saint Pierre. That's insane. It took me. All the way into the third round to finish Stephen Thompson, but I get George St. Pierre out of there in less than three minutes. Wow. Three weight world champion, though. All right, man. I mean, <laughs> I've pretty much accomplished everything I've wanted to in this career mode. Um, but we'll do one more fight before we end this episode. All right. Um, yeah, let's go fight Gilbert Burns again. Let's go fight Gilbert Burns. That will be the last fight for this episode. And here we go. Joe, how do you see this playing out for Cowboy? He's the former middleweight champion, and now after dropping a weight class, he finds himself defending the welterweight belt for the first time. Few guys can have this level of success in two weight classes. BJ Penn, Dan Henderson, Randy Couture. I mean, he is part of a very exclusive club. He's got the clinch. I like Super how they play. mentioned uh, Randy before. Half guard. Reverse. Oh, you're lucky. Oh, but he ate a left hand. I gotta be careful because Gilbert is actually kind of strong. Oh, big kick. Oh, wow. Oh, that one 
dropped him. Right after I said he was strong. No. Oh shit, he might actually finish me. He's got the arm under. It's pretty tight. Oh, that was close. Oh. I got worried there. Pushing his opponent away. I got scared there. Working with the over under under just take him here. down just so that I can, maybe. Nope. Alright. I'll just back out if he lets me. Damn. Oh, no. No. Well, if he postures up, I got something for him. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Damn, he's not transitioning at all. Into the guard. He's throwing me off. There him off of the feet. Damn. Hughes, a great wrestling background. Big takedown again. Reverse. He's staying on top of him, controlling the position. Beautiful. Oh, they're just throwing Damn, let me concentrate here. real quick. He's got the single. No. Again, the takedown is stopped. Oh, no, he's got it. Back here. It's with everyone catching my kicks, man. Damn. He's got it, and he's down. Am I just too much of a headhunter? Is that what it is? Reversed. Round one. Oh. Wow, this is already my top pick for fight of the night. These guys are throwing everything they have at each other. Striking, grappling, you name it. Alright, let me see what he actually got me with. Don't crowd him. Relax. Don't go for the What did he drop me with? Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. Here's that beautiful counter punch. Oh yeah. This is straight, and he hit me in the back of the head. Right on target, incredible power behind that, Mike. Yeah, if he had um, escape, great display of ground defense here. If he went for ground and pound instead of uh, a submission, he probably could have got me out of there. I need you to circle left. It's Gilbert Burns though, so he's always gonna go for a submission if he can. with us tonight. He's got really, really good jujitsu. Even though he hasn't submitted anyone in a while. We start round two. This fight's scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. Ooh. Glad I fainted that one. That long straight of his, man. And Gilbert has enough power. Oh, my goodness. Oh. He has enough power to where you have to respect his strikes. Left, right. Oh, damn. Slide me up on the feet. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Nice. No, sir. He's looking to take him down. He gets mounted. The double under hook didn't work that time. Let me up, Gilbert. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot for a takedown. Just out of harm's way and then boom, the counter. They clinch again. Oh, no. He's going to push me all the way to the cage, huh? He's got the clinch up against the cage. No. Oh, shit. And again he goes for a ride. He ain't that one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get me out of here. And he's got the other arm trapped in between the legs. No! He's in the salivary position. Back to side control. Come on, transition. There we go. Full guard here. Ah. Inside the guard, posturing up. Okay, good. He's getting pounded, Mike. He's in big trouble. Good shots. Crowded. I don't know, man. Maybe George St. Pierre is just old. These other contenders are giving me way more trouble than George St. Pierre did. Go ahead, shoot for a takedown. Yes. Nice shot. He's hurt. Oh. How about He's going it? For the rim naked. Imagine. 
Great submission defense. Just imagine. If I submit him with the same choke he was trying to finish me with earlier. This is good. It's tight. How about that? The Karate Master has become a submission specialist. How about that? What a performance. He defends the UFC welterweight title. Let's look at it. Joe, the key's the leverage on the body, isn't it? Well, the, the key is that arm across the neck. As soon as he gets that arm underneath the chin, and he's able to secure that hand on his bicep, that gives him tremendous leverage, and he's able to squeeze and cut off the blood supply to the head. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. All right, man. Can say I've officially defended every title that I've won. Well, I guess technically not the Grand Prix in Pride, but yeah, you know, every title I've won in the UFC and WFA, I've defended at least once. Ooh, cool beans, man. Hey, fight of the night. Just kind of hoping I would get. Um, submission of the night, too. Actually, who did get submission of the night? Dan Hooker. Over Justin Gaethje, huh? Arnold Allen got knocked out of the night over Jose Aldo? Damn. Alright, what else? Hamzat beat Tony Ferguson? Okay. Charles Oliveira beat King Green? Yeah. And Jamal Hill lost against Alexander Gustafson. All right, cool. All right, looks like that last fight put us in the lead for fight of the year. So, that's always nice. I'm going to end this episode here. Um, I honestly don't know what else to do in this career mode. I mean, I, I, I didn't even know I was going to get to a position where I could fight in three different weight classes and, you know, win belts in every one of them. So... I don't know. I guess I'll just be looking. Maybe I'll fight in Pride one more time if it lets me. I don't know. But uh, thank you for tuning in and watching this episode. If you liked it, consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.